Hey guys, Cobra, uh, here, of course, and, um, this is gonna be a, this is obviously a pickups video, and I'm gonna be honest, I think this is probably, <sighs> looking at all the stuff around me, I'd say this is my best, best pickups video yet, um, so really gonna wanna stay tuned for this one, this one's really cool, um, just got some great stuff, guys, really great stuff, um, all right, so let's get started. I got a lot of stuff to show and only 15 minutes to do it. So, all right, let's go. Um, the first thing I did, I got was uh, I won Intellivision Dude's drawing contest. So he sent me Diner for the Intellivision. Huge thanks to that. Um, it's a good game. Okay, well, he also sent a note in Intellivision Dude fashion. Of course he would. All right, I'll read it for you real quick. It says, um, Dear Winner, Sorry I could not fit the noodles into the envelope, so take this copy of Diner instead. It may not taste the same, but enclosed the enclosed spork may help help you eat dinner in your new diner. May the spork be with you. I mean, just in classic and television dude fashion, that was awesome. And this spork is sealed, so might hang on to that one. Yeah. Uh, anyways, here's the diner cartridge. Um, so, anyways, today was supposed to be a big uh, Dreamcast day for me because I was I was going to these stores looking for Dreamcast games. Um, and the Dreamcast actually took a back seat. I got some Dreamcast stuff, some good stuff for it, but, um, it sort of took a back seat to some other cool stuff I got. Um, but I guess we'll start with the simple stuff. Um, this is actually my Dreamcast box. Um, I did, I have a box copy of it now. Um, I did a, took a gamble, but it paid off for me. So, um, I now have a box Dreamcast. Um, it's in great shape. The only problem is it didn't come with, like, the, um, like the innards of the box, like the like the, the molding that the console fits in. So if I put it in here, it's just loose. Um, so I'll have to finagle something up. But box is in pretty much fantastic shape. You know, it's a little wear around the edges, but I'm happy. Box, box console, can't really complain. Um, let me scoot over. So I'm not sure. Well, never mind. Um, all right, so let's get started with the stuff I got today. Um went to disc replay now i've actually never been to a disc replay and i've heard good things and i gotta tell you before i show you anything i got today check this store out their prices are almost unbeatable i i, I was astounded i saw a copy of um they had pretty much every rare nes game i've ever seen uh aside from the extremely rare they had the rarest games like it was ridiculous what they had um, and all fairly priced, you know, expensive, of course, but fair. Anyways, um, and it's big, quite a bit of inventory there. So anyways, we go in there, uh, the Dreamcast selection, eh, so-so, um, but I did get some stuff, well, only one for Dreamcast, I decided to save my money for other stores, um, but I saw this game and I, 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 I grabbed it, and the case was sort of beat up, I've since changed out the case, but... Um, I looked it up on my phone real quick, and it got good reviews, like a 9.3 or something from IGN or something like that. Um, so I kind of had to pick it up, and uh, the game is Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver. I've played about, oh, 20 minutes, half hour of this game. It's pretty good so far. Um, it's sort of about vampires and stuff. It's pretty interesting. And then um, I picked up another game, and this is actually a game I never thought I'd get. And when I saw it for $12, my jaw almost hit the floor. Um, this is a game... It's not the Holy Grail or anything like that, but it is debatably the best game on the 32X. And most of you should already know what I'm talking about, and it's Knuckles Chaotix. This game for $12, of course I'm not going to leave without it. Um, you know, it's in rough kind of shape. The label's intact and everything, but there was clearly a sticker on it, but you know what? Who cares? I have the game. I haven't played it yet. I really want to play it. Uh, so as soon as I'm done with this video, that's probably what I'll be doing. So that's all I got at that store. Um, they had other stuff, but... I wanted to save my money for other stores. A good thing I did, because we went to a store. Oh, it's in the mall. It's in a mall by by. It's called Media Replay. So we got disc and media replay. Whatever. Completely unrelated. But I I looked through the, all their classic games. They didn't really have anything. They had very few uh, Dreamcast games. But I did see one that caught my eye, just because I'm a golfer. And uh, it's tee off. It was only 99 cents. It didn't come with a case. Um, but I figured, you know what? 99 cents. Whatever. So I got that. Um, I also picked up a Dreamcast VMU for two dollars. Um, can't use enough of those, so that's good. But uh, here's the really cool stuff. Um, I don't know which one to tell first. I got two cool things. Decisions, decisions. Oh well, 
let's just go with this first. So, I noticed, like, behind the counter, there was some stuff. That's where he actually kept the Dreamcast games, although most of them were in bad shape, and most of them were even actually in cases like this, so. He also had Mortal Kombat and Sonic Adventure, but if they're going to be in a case like that, I can just wait, because I want to get a good copy of those. Anyways, and, um, what was back there? There was some, you know, whatever, more of the odd stuff. Um, and I saw this little book thing, and it said Atari on it. And I said, you know, what, what, do, you, what do you got on that there? Uh, and he didn't have a price. So, um, you know, I took a look at it. And before I tell the price story, I'll just show you what it is. Basically, it's not a book. Uh, it's a game holder for Atari 2600 cartridges. But it looks like a book. So if I put this in, like, a bookshelf, people would hardly even know the difference. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Anyways, people would hardly even know the difference. So that's what's going on here. And, um... Before I discuss the pricing here, I'm going to um, show you the other thing I got. People who have gone to um, retro video game stores that sell retro stuff and whatever, um, there's always a console boxes up on the wall. You know, there's a place by my house that has a uh, Super Nintendo box that I desperately want. You know, and uh, most of the time they don't sell them. Well, this place had one. It was a uh, what was it? I, what was it? Wow! It was a Sega Dreamcast box or a Sega Genesis box, the first model. Um, it was a black box, in pretty good shape. And uh, my friend goes, you know, you gotta ask him, you know, are they selling that? And I was like, eh, I don't know, they usually don't. But anyways, we were walking up there, and I said, you know, you guys got any Dreamcast games? He showed me, and I said, also, oh, you guys selling that Genesis box back there? He goes, well, I don't really know. So uh, that's an odd question. He actually said that. He said that's an odd question. And uh, so I. Uh, he said, all right, well, let me call my boss. So he calls his boss, no answer. He goes, okay, well, he didn't answer, so I'm going to say, yeah, we'll sell it to you. And I said, okay, do you have a price in mind? Whew. I love this guy for saying what he did. He goes, uh, I don't know, how's $4.99 sound? Oh, my God, are you kidding me? Yeah, of course, $4.99. And I was like, <clears throat> yeah, I'll take it, you know, trying to act cool about it. Because $4.99 for a box like that, I mean, come on. Of course I'm going to take that. Um, and then I said, okay, well, how about that Atari book? And he goes... Ooh, that's not priced either. Uh, $4.99? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, of course $4.99 for this. Are you serious? I mean, it might seem kind of stupid. I'm probably not even going to put games in there. It only holds four. But whatever, you know, of course I'm going to take it. And then it came with all this stuff. And this is really funny, so you guys might want to check this out. It came with the uh, Genesis Manual, uh, which is awesome. But it came with this. And it's a card that looks like somebody made on the computer. It says, For You. Oddly enough, it's close to Valentine's Day, so let me just read this card. Um, it's bizarre. It's a bizarre what you'll find in this stuff. This is exactly what it says. No joke. I really like you. I think you are a sweetheart, and I think you... I think you are nice, and I think you are cute. I want to do some stuff with you. Oh, my God. And then it's signed, but the signature's all faded. I can't really read it. I mean... How can, like, completely up front and forward can you be about it? I think you're sweet, and I want to do stuff with you. Like, what the hell? Um, and I said, man, I really hope whoever, you know, he said he uh, got that letter said, whoa, you know, what the hell. Um, anyways, so that was really funny. You never know what you'll find, and I'm going to keep this because it's really funny. And, uh, all right, then we went to a Goodwill today, uh, picked up Donkey Kong Country 3. This is actually my second copy, so if anybody wants to maybe buy this or something, just let me know, because I don't really have a use for a second copy. It is the Player's Choice Edition, but whatever, you know, it shouldn't matter. Okay, um, that is actually it for the pickups, but I have to tell you a story real quick. When I was at the disc replay, uh, mind you, that's the first one I went to where I got the Knuckles Chaotix, he had Genesis games, and I said, you know, don't you guys have any box Genesis games? Everybody has box Genesis games, you know what I mean? Like, they're the hard case, nobody throws those away. Usually, well, people do, but basically any place that sells Genesis games at least has some. They didn't have any. I said, do you guys have any boxed ones or anything? They didn't have boxed anything. They had two box Master System games, that was it. And he said, oh, no, to be honest with you, I, I, I can't even believe he said this. He goes, no, man, to be honest with you, when we get them, we just throw away the boxes. I stood there for, like, this looking at him for about 15 seconds. I was in awe. I was in awe. I mean, th to think that I could have had Knuckles Chaotix boxed even, it just makes me mad. And I, it's sort of like, what the hell? Don't they? I mean, not only is it, he said they take up too much room. Okay. 
I'm sure you can find room because once you have the box and the manual for a game, the value goes. Yeah, so the value of the box with the box just goes up. I, I was absolutely stunned. He goes, "Yeah, we just you know throw them out." <sighs> you gotta be kidding me. I was kind of tempted to you know say you know just here's my number. If you guys get any boxes, you're gonna throw out. Just give me a call, and I still might do it. You know, um, but who? I, I mean, not only is that stupid from a value aspect, like it defaces the value. From a business aspect, don't you want to make more money? I mean, imagine selling a copy of Knuckles Chaotix for $12. If this were boxed and complete, 30 probably they could have got out of this. Or maybe not that much, maybe if it wasn't in, if it was in better condition. But, I mean, for real. Um, I mean, they had Moonwalker. A boxed Moonwalker is worth much more than a bo uh, unboxed version. You know, uh, they had Dragon Warrior 4. Stuff like, I mean... I, I, I was in awe. I was absolutely... I was really mad, kind of, to be honest with you. Um, it still actually kind of makes me mad the more I think about it. Wow, what an idiot. Oh, well, guys, that's it. Um, don't forget, I have this game. If somebody wants to buy it or... I guess we'll do a trade. It's in perfect shape. Virtually flawless. I haven't tested it, but I'm sure it works. If not, I'll let you know. But, um... Yeah, so whatever, guys. This has been Cobra, and uh, thanks for watching. Oh, and before I go, I actually just want to let you guys know, um, I did not make a Sega vs. Nintendo this week. Um, I was a little crunched for time on Thursday, which is usually every Thursday I do, but I promise next week um, we'll get them rolling again. Maybe I can build up a little, a little, uh, a little hype for it, maybe, because I noticed the first one got a lot of views, kind of. The second one got, eh, okay, views, but the third one didn't get very many views. I don't know if it has to do with the game I picked or anything like that, but... Uh, uh, the third one definitely got the least views, but, um, I don't know, guys, uh, they'll be upcoming next, uh, every, I'm gonna try and do them every Thursday, so, uh, so anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and, uh, yeah, reviews, uh, I will be, uh, doing reviews again, so guys, once more, thanks for watching.